Okay, this is our fourth video, guys, and thanks for coming on and watching this. This is something that I think I can do pretty quickly on a video instead of having to lecture you through it. Um, you know that we've been in Unit 2, which is called Ecological Interactions or Ecology, looking at how organisms interact with their environment and how humans impact that, and also how uh, organisms interact with each other in the environment, not just with the weather in the environment, but also with each other. And so what we're going to talk about today is learning target 2.5, which is I can describe what exponential growth is. And I'm going to show you that now. And basically, I want you to look at this chart. I made this on Google Docs. Let's pretend. And I want you to pretend that every day for 10 days, I went out and I measured two different bugs. One bug was 20 centimeters. And then every day, he went up by 5. The other one started at only 2 centimeters, but every time he doubled, he went up by 2, then 4, then 8, then 16, then 32. So by the end, you can see that this insect is much bigger than this insect. Well, the reason I'm showing you that is because when you graph it out, you can see, and you've done some practice with this, you can see that this is actually the first insect. He goes up, but he goes up in almost a straight line because every time he goes up in length, he goes up by the same amount, 5 centimeters. Whereas the other insect, if you look, kind of goes up slowly for a little while, 2, 4, 8, but by the time you start getting around day 6, it starts to increase dramatically, not evenly, but dramatically. It makes this curve shape, and that's called exponential growth, growing by adding a lot more every single time interval, whereas linear is when you add the same amount for every time interval. So every day, 5 centimeters was added to this insect, or he grew 5 centimeters, whereas this insect started out at 2, and every day he didn't go up by 2, every day he doubled. He went more and more each day, so that between day 9 and 10, he actually increased by 256. He doubled himself there. So this is called linear growth, when something increases at the same interval over the same time period. And this line right here is called exponential growth, because each time period, it's increasing more and more. And that's called linear and exponential growth. And we're going to be working with that with some a couple activities so that you can see the difference. Most organisms in nature tend to grow exponentially, not linearly. Um, and then they also die exponentially, too. And they'll come dramatically dropping down. Um, and that happens for different reasons that we'll talk about. So exponential and linear growth is the topic for today. Linear growth increasing the same amount every time interval. Exponential growth increasing by more and more every time interval. So I hope that makes sense to you. Thanks a lot, guys.